Many drugs are actually cleared from your body by the kidneys. For example, the antibiotic levofloxacin is cleared through the kidneys. Now this has important implications on how we dose a medication. For example, if we give too little of a dose, there may not be enough antibiotic to kill the bacteria. On the flip side, if we give too much drug, you can potentially get a lot of side effects. So in order to figure out how much drug we give a patient, we try to estimate the renal function. By estimating the renal function, we can figure out how to dose medications. And one of the most commonly used equations to estimate renal function or to estimate how well you clear creatinine is cockroft galt. Now, how do we actually calculate creatinine clearance? Let's pretend we have a hypothetical patient, um, which I've listed on the right side, a 45-year-old female who's 5'2", who's 58 kilograms, and has a serum creatinine measured at 1.2. The first thing you actually have to do is choose the appropriate weight. So we'll, we'll go into class on how to choose an appropriate weight, but for now, let's start with just identifying if they're male or female. Since this is a 45-year-old female, we'll go ahead and use this middle equation. And the way we interpret that is 45.5 kilograms plus 2.3 times every inch over five feet. So now, how do you actually input that? This patient is actually five foot two. So they are two inches over five feet. So when you come over here, you actually input a two because they are two inches over five feet and then you simply do the calculation. So here you can see the weight that you would use is actually 50 kilograms. The next step you do is actually input all the values into the creatinine clearance equation. As you can see here, um, you have an age, you have a space for the weight, and for here we're gonna use the ideal body weight. And lastly, you got the serum creatinine to input. Once you input all of these, the last thing you have to consider is whether they're male or female. If they're female, you multiply by 0.85, and if they're not female, you actually just delete this portion of the equation. So here I've inputted the values for you. You can see I've inputted the 45 for age. I've inputted 50.1, which is the ideal body weight we got in this previous step number two, and I've inputted the serum creatinine from the patient's labs. The serum creatinine was 1.2. And since this patient was female, I've went ahead and left in this 0.85. Once you calculate it, you can actually see that the creatinine clearance is 46.8. Once you calculate the creatinine clearance, as I've said, the last step is to actually dose a medication. Now, our initial question was what was the creatinine clearance of a 45-year-old? And we calculated that it was 47 milliliters per minute. Now, as a pharmacist, we would use that creatinine clearance to dose a medication. Hypothetically, let's say this patient needs levofloxacin for a community-acquired pneumonia. As a pharmacist, these are the steps you would take. You would open Lexicon and you could search levofloxacin and you choose the appropriate route. So here I'll go ahead and choose systemic. And if you want to skip straight to the dosing section, you can actually go straight to dosing. The next thing you would do is look for the indication. The patient doesn't have anthrax. The patient has a community acquired pneumonia. So I would go ahead and scroll down until you see the words community acquired pneumonia. And here it is. So we've got understood that the patient has a community acquired pneumonia and we find that the usual dose is 750 milligrams once a day. However, we just calculated a renal function, a creatinine clearance of 47. 
As pharmacists, we would need to do something. And what we need to do is actually go to the dosing for renal impairment. So first you identify the indication and the dose you would give for that indication. Next, you would go to the renal impairment section in Lexicomp. And here, what you'd actually do is identify what creatinine clearance this patient has. So a 47 is between 20 and 50 in the creatinine clearance column. Now, levofloxacin is kind of interesting because you dose it based on the dose that you initially needed to give. So if the usual dose is 750 milligrams every 24 hours, you would just read it across and now you have a new dose, 750 milligrams every 48 hours.